the reality is New Jersey tr transit is a disaster. It needs to be fixed. Senate President Steve Sweeney will personally chair the new select committee on NJ Transit he created. It'll be a political barb aimed at a very vulnerable target for Governor Murphy's administration, which Sweeney said he doesn't blame for the agency's deterioration, but faults for a slow, sparsely funded rescue of the beleaguered transit system. We're going to get answers, we're going to come up with solutions, and we'll offer them to the administration because at this point, uh, to act like everything is fine, Tell that to a bus rider or a train rider trying to get into New York to get to their job when it's, it's, it's like going to the casino. It's like a crapshoot. You know, whether the bus is show, going to show up on time, whether it's working well, uh, if the train's going to make it or not. NJ Transit's hired 500 more bus drivers and it's training several classes of new locomotive engineers. It's buying more buses and implementing federally required positive train control. But it's also delivering service that's so chronically late, canceled, or impaired by broken vehicles that the New York Times just awarded it a dubious first place for running the single worst commuter train in America. It's been two years and there's no improvement. I don't think there's been any improvement. I don't think you can point to anything and say we're better now than we were two years ago or whatever amount of time it was since this new administration has come in. The, the time of blaming others has to be over at this point. This is another much needed effort in order to institute a lot of the changes that are needed to bring about the agency, especially optimistic that there will be a plan resulting from this select committee. But transit advocates claim NJ Transit needs a full board of commissioners and a dedicated source of funding. The agency got a $75 million net increase in state funding this year, which concerns Senator Loretta Weinberg, who will serve on the new committee. She said, we need to hear from commuters, transportation experts, and others to determine an appropriate increase in operating funds to adequately support an agency that carries more than 900,000 passengers. Sweeney's concerned a fair hike coming next summer, and Governor Murphy said nothing to challenge that during a forum today at Rowan's College of Business. In the last administration, commuters paid 36 percent more over the eight years to ride NJ Transit. Uh, we've now frozen it two years in a row, at least till June 30 of next year, uh, while we get this thing fixed. Murphy and Sweeney both see NJ Transit as a critical cornerstone to economic development. Today, the governor's office said, we welcome the legislature's scrutiny and look forward to the discussion of their budgets that were negotiated with Governor Christie and sent to his desk, which reduced state funding to the agency by as much as 90 percent. Governor Murphy knows that a sustainable rebuild of the system takes time. The committee, which will also include Democratic Senator Sandra Cunningham and Transportation Committee Chair Patrick Dignan, will look at whether it's taking too long to fix. Republicans will also be named to the committee, which will hold public hearings and conduct roundtables. Meetings will start after the November election. In West Upford, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.